Dear students, in this lecture, we shall learn about the surfaces and distance in mathematical economics. As you can see, if we choose a function which is having two variables, that is x and y, and it is equal to some sort of constant, we have actually rearranged a function which is usually written like this, y is a function of x. If we rearrange it, and we bring the variable that is the dependent variable into the bracket and we keep a constant only on the other side, we'll be left with this form. And this form is, uh, is simply the form of a function which is having two, uh, two variables in total. One is the dependent variable, other is the independent variable. Now, this situation gives rise to points in a graph. As we already know, we have been making graphs and they give rise to many points where they have x coordinate and y coordinate. That is a situation where we get various points. But what if we have three variables in total? Uh, what I mean to say is that there is one dependent variable and other two are the independent variables. When this happens, we can rewrite the function in this way where z is the dependent variable and x and y, these are the independent variables. And they are equated to some sort of constant because we have brought all the variables to the left-hand side. Definitely some constant should be left on the other side. Now, once we make the graph of this uh, sort of function, uh, which is having multiple independent variables, there may be more than two, but in this case, we are taking a simple example because our visual word does not allow us to go beyond two independent variables. Now, uh, we, we get surfaces. We don't get a point. And how these surfaces look like, we shall see in a while. But before we go there, we should remember the standard form of having a plane in, in the space that is a surface. And it, and it should look like this, ax plus by plus cz is equal to d. d is a constant. A, B, C, these are some coefficients and understandably, understandably X, Y and Z, these are three variables. Now, this is a standard form of having a plane. Um, there is a caveat and that is A, B, C. These should not be zero. Why? Because if I put A is equal to zero here, X will disappear. It means that we are reducing our analysis only to Y and Z, that is two variables. And two variables give rise to a 2D diagram, that is, it gives rise to various points and does not give rise to a surface. So this is why we should make sure that A, B, and C, the coefficients of the variables, they are non-zero. Now we are coming to this slide that takes an economic example. Here you can see that we have adopted the standard form that we just saw in the last slide and we are transforming it for the sake of making a household budget. M here shows the total budget and X, Y and Z. These are the various commodities. In this case, three commodities that will be consumed. And this is the share of the budget that will be spent on them. Actually, these are P, Q, R. These are all positive values. And P, Q, R actually are the prices of these goods and we will allocate the amounts in such a way that the shares of the expenditure they sum up to the household budget now before we go ahead there is another possibility that we should try to remember and that is that the equality might not be there instead of equality there might be inequality by inequality i mean that the expenditure is not summing up to the total budget. We might underspend. If we have 1,000 rupees, we might be spending 900. So in that case, instead of uh, equality, we should use less than sign. And if we merge both of the possibilities, uh, both of the signs will appear. That is less than and equal to. And we shall see that in the upcoming equation right here, that both of the possibilities are listed. These inequalities, again, they are having a specific meaning. And that is, we are having non-negative levels of consumption of these goods. We are consuming all of them. And that is the case of greater than zero. Once they are equal to zero, then either of them or two of them uh, 
can be demanded without any value. That is, they are not demanded, they are not consumed. Keeping these things in our mind, we can put all of this into this set notation. As you can see, the set symbol is used and that is B in this case. We are telling that we are dealing with three variables, that is X, Y, Z. And we are telling about the relationship that we have. And this shows that we can either spend the whole budget or we can underspend. The less than sign shows the possibility of the underspending. And then we have the parametric restrictions of X, Y, and Z. That is evident that consumption cannot be negative. Now, uh, once we make this graph, it's going to create a plane which is highlighted in this blue color. And here you can see only X has a value. Others are having zero value. It's X intercept and here it's Z intercept and here it's Y intercept. So we get not just a point, we get a whole surface and it is labeled here. This is how a surface is created and how we, this is how we understand this. Now we try to understand what is distance in economic situations. This is a cube, which is actually a rectangular sort of cube. And these are the sides B, A and C. But we are interested actually in this triangle. If we are to find the value of PR, then we will get this diagram that is P and R. And here we have the length of A and length B and A. Now, you know, it's a right triangle and for that we have Pythagoras theorem and it gives us this uh, formula where the hypotenuse square is the is equal to the sum of the base square and the altitude square and it can be applied here. So you see the distance of one point from another can be calculated by using the simple tools provided in the geometry. Here in this case it was Pythagoras theorem.